Welcome back, multifamily investors. This is Brandon. I'm checking out the new listings over the last 24 hours in Western Washington. Hit update all. Not a ton. We've got one duplex in King County. We've got two five plus commercial and multifamily properties. We have one seller finance opportunity. And that's it. Let's uh let's get to the good one. Let's see what seller finance multifamily opportunity is available. Sometimes it pops up in the other ones too, uh, the duplexes and triplexes and such. So it's in Seattle. <clears throat> let's take a look. Queen Anne Magnolia. Uh, it's a duplex really low rents so it's probably a mom and pop been on forever 1950s uh this is a it's this is a good location for sure i mean it is in seattle where you're gonna have tough but look it says here the owners are willing to sell or finance the property to the future owner with a down payment of 30 percent five-year term that balloon is what they mean i'm sure not amortizer that five-year balloon and interest rate to be negotiated so again, this is the problem with a lot of these seller finance deals that we're seeing in the MLS or publicly listed is they're, they're not really competitive with the bank in terms of their down payment. Um, and if it's been owned forever, they probably have quite a bit of equity. I'd have to check and see if there's any recorded still outstanding mortgages or anything on the on title that haven't been paid off. But, uh, you know, at least it's an opportunity. It's in a good part of Seattle. If you wanted to be in Seattle, if you wanted to house hack a duplex opportunity like this, or even take it down as a non-owner occupied investor but um 30 down you know that's 40 that 400 ish so all right uh going down the list to let's see five plus units let's see where they are tumwater which is uh down by olympia and lacy and thurston and everett is snohomish county my goal is to always try and educate to the, the viewers on the locations. That one's new. This one's been on the market a long time. So <clears throat> surplus land, six units, cleaning five updated with new appliances. Uh, it was 1981, just under one five. It's advertising like five and a quarter cap, all two bed, one baths, all the same size, ranging from 1350 to 1500. I'm guessing that's the one that hasn't been updated. Uh, let's just take a quick look here. Showing bus route that's good for residents. Sometimes you got popcorn ceilings, but you got you have new floors. At least you know white white trim on doors and um, molding. You got baseboard heats, heating. A little dated, but not bad. It's been cleaned up. Ooh, you have full size washer and dryer in the units. That's a nice sideways picture. New trash enclosure. There's an aerial view. Not bad. Uh, for one five, you're looking at a little over what two fifty a unit or so. <clears throat> so we'll watch this one because down in that area occasionally and I can take a look at it. And if anybody's interested in seeing the numbers on something like this, let me know. Um, that's not too bad for six units that size. I like I like that they're all two bed, one baths. Looks like I have some good parking. Three units have private backyards under your old walnut trees. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to look at the other one in Everett. Come on. All right. Uh, oh, this is that, the mixed use. <clears throat> Everett Muckleteal area, that's Snohomish County for those of you still trying to learn our area. Um, so you've got one, two, three flex. You've got one, two, three commercial and three apartments. So nine total rentable units. It's saying it's a six cap, but this is gonna take a unique investor. Most of my investors don't want mixed use and retail and all that kind of stuff. A uh, good nugget of information I was given a long time ago by an investor in Las Vegas was when it comes to small retail, strip mall stuff like this, um, they do great when the economy is doing well. And then they do they're the first thing to go when the economy starts to tank. So it's there's your high risk, high reward type of opportunities there. Vacant units show pro forma rent with triple net. That's what NNN means. For those of you who don't know commercial leases, triple net. 
Okay, I think that was it. Oh, and we had the one... Well, this is probably the same Queen Anne one we looked earlier. Yeah. But that's offering seller financing. So sometimes if it has seller financing, it's going to come up in two of my searches. Um, it's the same one. Okay, there you have it. Not a ton to look at today. I'm going to do some deal analysis uh, on a couple properties and explain, you know, the information that we look at in some of these these listings because I think some people assume when they're looking at a, a deal like this and they see the financials if there are any see sometimes the listing agent doesn't even put any financials in there like drives me bananas um, but sometimes these are actuals sometimes these are estimated and sometimes they are pro forma so all right there you have it uh, I will be back again tomorrow thank you for watching